Alrighty, uh, we did some fucking around for fuel line stuff. So as you can see, I got a little piece of uh, sharply cut metal in this corner. Uh, what we're going to do is run the fuel lines inside there. And that's just literally a splash guard, uh, hit guard, uh, to stop when the wheel's at full turn, uh, bashing into there. Now, this runs a one-inch spacer. It's got about three inches of uh, backspacing. So we're about here. We're going to be right around there. So the only bit that might worry me is this corner right there. But we can always bash that in or kind of keep the lines to the inside and then I can always cut and smooth it over but we'll see how it is I mean when you look at the radius of it it does kind of miss that but uh, our main reason for that is that so we can run our fuel lines up through here and then uh, to the uh, engine although granted these are facing the other direction but one in Rome that's that's the best spot so I mean we'll we'll run it the way we have to uh, and we might just cut it and uh, yeah, go from there. But yeah, so we're going to run hard line. Uh, I thought about using all this braided PTFE hose I have, but um, I don't really want to. I don't know if there's any benefit to it really. Uh, we're going to see I'll get in 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths, just round bar. And then I can just hard bend that stuff into, uh, into shape and uh, run as little hose as we have to and preferably honestly just run a rubber hose standard fuel injection hose front will have to obviously um well not obviously but i have adapters to run from these to a n so we might just have a small braided section uh in here and it may be easier to flare the ends to a uh jic female end and then i can just run male adapters and Go from there, but yeah, I'll keep you along on the struggle that is the fuel system. But uh, once we get our, our tube, maybe tomorrow or sometime during the week, we can then, yeah, run it. Ugh, I'll try to get this on the video. But yeah, right across from here, uh, down the bottom of the car, probably make a little guard right there. And then, uh, yeah, bring it up and over the uh, IRS setup into the uh, rear sump of the tank. But yeah. That's, uh, took a lot of time just kind of figure out how to do it here or where the fuel lines need to come up, but, uh, that's where they need to come up and that's where they'll come up. So, yeah. Any concerns or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you. But yeah, smell you later.